Hey guys, it's Kaney. Welcome to Miss Natural Life TV, where we do life together naturally. And in this video, we're going to talk about, you know, the subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I wanted to find out, is it really all that bad though? Okay, so I'm not going to even go through all the shenanigans about this palette. There's millions of videos about it. This is what it looks like. It has 14 colors. It comes with a brush. It also has a full mirror and it does have a little felt on there, you know, like something your grandma would have. It's the sister palette to the Modern Renaissance palette and all that. It's like $42 and it did release an Ulta and I decided to pick it up. And I decided to pick it up not because of the hype, but because of the hype. Um, and the hype this time around is the negative <laughs> reviews. It was like so many, it felt like maybe a staged, um, you know, like revolt against Anastasia Beverly Hills. I was actually shocked at the amount of negative reviews this palette, you know, received on YouTube. And honestly, I was actually shocked that people didn't like the colors. Um, surprisingly for myself, I really dig the colors. I think they're different. Um, some of them are colors that I would not um, automatically wear. It's not a palette I would just be like, boom, let me wear this every day. Um, but it's definitely a get out of my box type of palette. And I was like, digging the colors especially when I saw it in person now when I first saw this, the um, pictures online they looked like super bright like especially the yellow tones here or the golden tones it looked super super bright uh, even the color electric this green color I thought it was gonna be like crazy like neonish but it's really not it actually looks like a very nice fall palette so I was intrigued and I picked it up at Ulta and I was like, I wanted to see how it turns out for me. So I will, of course, be inserting footage of me using the palette. And I have to say that, you know, some of the shadows were a little powdery. But that's typical, at least in my experience, for matte powders. People were talking about it kicks up so much and it's like crazy and, you know, like, they were showing like people hitting pan and I'm not saying anything to those people that had that experience because if that's their experience you know I'm not gonna take that away from them but I was just like wow Anastasia has such high quality eyeshadows I'm a, I'm a fan um, I was kind of shocked to see that and so I don't know if people got bad batches or not um, I you know just went into my palettes like I normally do I don't usually swirl my brush a whole whole lot I kind of just tap inside the color sometimes I'll swirl my brush depending on you know if the powder is packed in there so tightly that I need to do that in order to get the pigment um, but these colors are super pigmented like almost ridiculously pigmented when you stick your finger in it you don't have to swirl your finger around even for swatches like literally I just touched it and it is that intense on my finger and it's that intense on the swatch like it's that intense and I literally just touched it so for me I actually think that's good you know so um, I decided to go ahead and try it out um, you can see me putting the shadows on of course I started out using the um, Smashbox um, 24 hour eyeshadow primer that is my favorite primer um, in life so I went ahead and started with that and then I just pat the colors on you know and I have to say that for the most part all the colors that I use actually work really nicely the one um, color that wasn't as good when I was applying it was the color all-star it seemed to kind of want to go on and then come off when I was trying to blend so I really ended up like blending it out and then going back and putting it on top and just so that that little burgundy-ish color could show more like I would like it. But I think it's beautiful for the fall and honestly, I don't think it's that bad. Now I'm not a makeup artist or you know professional or anything like that, but I am a um, eyeshadow connoisseur. I love eyeshadows and I I actually like it. I don't think it's that bad. I think it's workable. Um, that if you have a good primer. You know your look will come out good I think it's nice and I feel like for fall some of these colors are gonna be my go-to's like especially the greens like I'm definitely a green lover for the fall any kind of like military green olive green I love that for the fall so the color untamed axis destiny those are gonna be bay for fall so don't be surprised for me to do some like get ready with me's or something like that with the palette but actually I like it I think it's it's you know good quality and I have no qualms now I, of course I did get a little kick up but that's typical for matte shades and even with my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette that's typical 
so I don't know but I just wanted to come on and do my little review on it and say I think it's good I think it's, it works great for me so let me know in the comment section if you tried this did all the negative reviews like get you you know kind of like uh, I'm not gonna not gonna even touch that you know how'd you feel about it if you have it did you try it how do you like it what do you think about the colors are you an eyeshadow junkie like me you know because if you are girl yes I love eyeshadow so, um, <laughs> just leave in the comment section your feedback on it, you know. That's what I have to say about the Subculture Palette. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and checking me out. Be sure to follow me everywhere online at Ms. Natural Life. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you so much. For real. Yeah. Y'all know. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, look. This stuff won't even come off. Like, it won't rub off. <laughs> I literally stuck my finger, stuck it like this, and now I can't even wipe it off. Like, that's the pigment, y'all, for real.